What's up Airsoft fam, Dark Tree here, back with another video, and today we're starting a new series called Behind the Build. Um, I finally found something to do with all my vlog footage, and I decided to make a vlog series that is dedicated to a certain build at any given time, but I wanted to show you guys what goes on behind the build and intermix that with airsoft. So, um, of course, I'm gonna let you guys know what build we're working on and then all the pieces of that puzzle that go into making that build, and then I'll show you guys basically uh, what goes into that behind the scenes. So, with that being said, we're heading out to airsoft GI. I have a few guns I have to pick up. One of those being a big win I got from, I think it was, yeah, it was a swag pack giveaway that I won. So um, I think I entered and I got like a few swag packs and I ended up winning a SIG MCX. I wasn't listening to the live stream at the time. I was really busy at work. We were working a lot of OT for the past few weeks. So I think my boy Black Brick uh, sent me a message and was like, Dark Tree, you won the SIG MCX. And I was like, what, what are you talking about? I was so excited, I deleted his comment, trying to respond, so thank you Black Brick for letting me know about that win, and uh, yeah, I'm about to go pick up that airsoft gun right away, uh, along with a few other airsoft goodies, so uh, you'll see that guys pretty soon. And one thing, one thing I'm forgetting to do right now is, I uh, forgot my shoes, so I'm gonna go get my shoes and uh, we'll be on our way. Alright, first we have to make a stop off at Tam's, because my wife was like, okay, well, you can't leave until you give me something to eat, so... You guys know if you're married, you know how it is. I'm actually getting more excited as I get closer to getting this Tams right now. It was more like my wife wanted it, but now that I'm here, I'm like salivating at this point. Thank you. Have a great day. Right, thank you too. Yes. Alright. $40 later for three breakfast burritos and a black coffee. Prices have gone up significantly everywhere. Is it worth it? Hell yeah. All right, just go ahead and take a look at that, guys. Now that's a breakfast burrito. Mm, mm, mm. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and eat, and then I promise you after that, we're heading down to Airsoft GI. Oh man, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but this California sun is out of control. To see. Oh, traffic. This is why I hate going down to GI so late in the afternoon. Living in SoCal, you're always going to run into traffic, and that's why I, you know, half my mind feels like I want to move from SoCal because it's just overpopulated. You know, I love SoCal. I grew up in LA. Maybe not even leaving California, maybe just going up to NorCal and just seeing you know, the differences. I have family up there and when I visited NorCal earlier this year, it was fantastic. I love the area, I love the people, and you know, the climate, the overall location was just fantastic. So, and they have Anderson, California, which has US Airsoft, one of the best airsoft fields I ever played at. I played BB Wars up there, um, Coastal Front, earlier this year and had a fantastic time and uh, you know asked my boy Akright you know US Airsoft was awesome it was great great experience and I will be back this isn't a turning lane you shouldn't be turning there what are you doing that's illegal don't do that <laughs> and before we get to Airsoft GI guys make sure you like and subscribe to my channel your support contributes greatly to channel growth and I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart I really do appreciate you guys. We just went uh, and surpassed 250 subscribers, so I'm gonna be doing a second giveaway, um, and I'll let you guys know what that giveaway will be in another video. Um, I know uh, one of my homies in the Airsoft community let me know, I think it was Crazy Jason, let me know that um, I didn't give you guys a date for my 100 subscriber giveaway when the due date was. I plan on doing that in a little bit. Uh, the reason why I delayed on that is because I'm trying to get my live stream stuff set up right now. So once I get everything set up, I will give you guys the date, uh, which will be the due date for my 100 subscriber giveaway, which will be for the LT35. And I do have a little bit more content coming out on the LT35 before the giveaway, so stay tuned for that, guys. Oh my god, you guys 
Yeah, I love this. Let me see what he did. Is this your bigger wins one? Is this? Oh, they granted my wish. Oof. Yeah. This is what we're gonna build from start to finish. Always wanted me a seat. Always wanted me an MCX. They're really cool. Now, this is a front wire gun, so really the You have the ability to get rear wire. Slip. Throw yourself a throw yourself a grenade launcher on the bottom while you're out. There you go. Just in case you wanna. <laughs> I think that might be the Isaiah's build if I'm not this mistaken. <laughs> we did also get the buffer tube adapter, so we can put a buffer tube Picatinny thing on there. So you can run any type of stock that you want, or we could switch it to the folding one for you. And it has the Picatinny on the back already, yep, right? It's already back. Oh there. my. God. You just remove this. Um, Right there, and then you would have access to your Picatinny slot right there. Yeah, and then, look at that. Yeah, so, go. Put these in the truck real quick. All right. Loading up the Zion arms into the Tacoma, and we got our MCX. Ooh. Ooh. There. Let's go grab a sandpiper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just like Fozzie's in the yeah, house. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. W.L. Zombie Preston. Always a fan. Thank you for your awesome guys. guys we're heading back home had a lot of fun hanging out with Justin and Mr. El Taco himself and that was a good idea they had in there um yeah when I go out to uh, any airsoft field whether it be Wildlands, Code Red or SE Village I'll just uh, put in the discord and maybe uh, all the homies in discord can meet up and actually you know play as a group and um you know enjoy airsoft together how it's supposed to be. Alright guys, I'm heading home right now. Had a fun time at GI, hanging out with the boys. Um, I'm gonna get ready. It's my homie Mike's birthday party, so I'm not sure how much I'm gonna vlog of that event, but I do know next time I will be going over the R15 and how we're gonna break it down and how this build is all gonna be put together. So, stay tuned for that.
All right, guys, we are back at home. I uh, had a fun time hanging out with Justin and El Taco at Airsoft GI. Uh, we had a lot of uh, good, fun Airsoft conversation. And uh, yeah, it was fun catching up with those guys and um, uh, seeing what they've been up to. So shout out to Justin always and uh, shout out to El Taco. All right, so let's get into what I picked up at Airsoft GI. Uh, as you guys know, or some of you guys might know, I was able to snag myself a big win on Airsoft GI. I entered the raffle for uh, the, uh, what was it called? What was that thing called? Giveaway. I was, yeah, the giveaway. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. I entered uh, the swag pack giveaway and um, I came up big. I was able to snag myself the uh, SIG MCX Virtus. Uh, this thing is a awesome Airsoft gun. Um, it is a little bit pricey and that's why I kind of passed up on it the first time it came out I was like I'm not spending that much on an airsoft you know replica even though it is an awesome replica um, I just didn't have the money for it at the time but I won it for fairly cheap if you want to know 20 bucks I entered a swag pack giveaway picked up four swag packs and this is what I ended up with. So awesome win there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fully customize this gun. I'm going to do a replica rundown on all these wins. So stay tuned for that. SIG MCX. Uh, all right. So my next pickup was something that I was for sure going to get. Um, I passed up on the first round of the Terran Tactical Sand Vipers because I had a feeling that the high grade was going to come out and my feelings were right. I did pick up the Terran Tactical High Grade uh, Sand Viper from Jag Arms. Uh, this gun, let me just pop this thing open because you just, it's just beautiful. You guys just got to see it real quick. Um, this is what it looks like in Prov 2 unboxing. But there it is right there in the packaging. Um, it's just a beautiful replica. It's got the two-tone up top. Uh, it's got the stippled grip and um it's just a beautiful john wick replica by jag arms and uh yeah i had to get one it has the uh, armor plate on top and uh fluid magwell i mean it's just i had to get another you know I, i'm building up a john wick collection so um this was one of the ones i had to get and if you guys look at this right here that's actually the last one on the list uh the first one that came out if you guys can see, uh, that's the Combat Master, the OG right there. And uh, that's actually the last on my list. I'm looking for one right now. So if you guys know who's got the uh, Combat Master in stock, please just go ahead and leave a comment below. Let your boy know where you can pick one up at. All right, so last but not least, um, the last pickup of the day was going to be my Zion Arms R15 in black. I know you guys are wondering why you have two of these uh first of all the first one i had i traded to Akrite and i was able to swap him for his mod one so shout out to your boy Akrite. and this is going to be my second one in black and the reason behind uh this build you know behind uh this whole process is because i needed a backup for this guy right here this is my mgc4 mark one um it's got the kythera engine inside it runs like a dream i've ran it at a couple events now i ran it at bb wars uh two bb wars events and i ran it on a uh a saturday a, a regular scrimmage type game or type airsoft uh day on a saturday and it ran pretty good um actually ran better than pretty good it ran pretty damn good i was able to hit shots above 250 feet away um i'm running all my favorite accessories on there the one thing that was the problem that i gotta remember to take off is this max model um uh ambidextrous uh mag release this thing was dropping my mags all day like i would pick up my gun to take down a target and at least it was more than three times but there were a few times where I could have got an easy kill and because this thing dropped my mag out, there was nothing, you know, there for me to shoot. I'm gonna take it off, go back to the stock um, mag release on this side, which is pretty flush with the gun. Shouldn't cause any more issues, but yeah, that's the only issue I had with my Mark 1 was actually 
um, an ad <laughs> it was actually an accessory, an upgrade that I put on it, which has actually turned out to be a downgrade. So that was a big, long spiel about the Mark I, but if you guys plan on picking one up, I suggest you do. Uh, the MGC4 Mark I's are coming out in a lot of different colors. I think black and red. Um, they're coming out the all bronze version and one with the uh, bronze rail. So uh, be on the lookout for those. I think they just landed. So you should pick one up. I highly recommend you guys checking that out. All right. So like I was saying, um, the Zion Arms R15 right here. Um, my third pickup from last Saturday. The reason why I needed another one of these is because I needed a backup for my primary. I needed, I needed to have a backup that was just as good, if not better, which is weird than my primary. Like if my primary goes down, I want to make sure that, you know, the money spent on that day isn't going for a loss that I will be able to still play that day with and have the same experience basically. So that's why I picked up this one because I want to have a uh, similar Airsoft experience that I have to my MGC4 Mark I. So R15 in black, second go around, just to put hands on this thing. Um, if you guys don't know, this is a full metal M4 replica airsoft replica um and to me this is the standard going forward for all airsoft companies uh if you're building something less quality than this the price should be less because like i said this is the standard it has all the features you should want out of an airsoft gun for a you know quote unquote beginner gun even though to me in my opinion this is a uh, more than a beginner gun this is like an upgraded beginner gun that i think you should probably save a little bit more of your ducats to try to get the first go around so uh, i highly recommend the r15 um if you can't get the r15 get the um the mgc4 but you know you're you can't go wrong with either of those choices so um like i said this gun right here um off the bat i already have a plan for how i'm going to build it out um, it's gonna take me cracking a couple eggs to get this omelet just right. If you guys know what that reference is from, leave a comment below, uh, and you're an OG for that. <laughs> but uh, this replica right here is gonna get the full treatment. I'm gonna rip it apart, and I'm going to show you guys the full process. And this is basically the whole point of um, behind the build. So I know I mentioned earlier about cracking two eggs, and the two eggs I'm talking about are my OG, my original GNGs, my first airsoft guns. And uh, those things haven't really seen the light of day in a long time. Um, and they're holding on to some precious parts that need to, you know, get back on the field and, you know, touch grass again, uh, for lack of a better term. So actually right behind me is uh, one of the GNGs I'm going to rip apart to get some parts off of this thing for the R15. Um, yeah, it's missing the grip. It's missing um, a lot of the pieces on it already. Some of these pieces went to my Mark I, but I'm gonna be ripping apart my combat machine from way back when. This is my first airsoft gun right here, and um, I'm gonna be stripping it completely. So this is the second replica that I'm gonna be ripping apart. Oh, got a little sock on there toss that away so this is the second replica i'm going to be ripping apart to uh, finish this r15 build um this is my gng ssg1 if you guys can't tell it's not the speed soft uh gun that um it originally came as i customized this thing i ran it for a long time this thing beams um it's an awesome airsoft replica and it's you know got a lot of tricks up its sleeve so um, i'm gonna rip it apart and recreate a backup to my mgc4 like i said before so that being said let's get into breaking down these two replicas and building up the r15 
All right, Airsoft fam, I didn't want this video to run too long. Thanks for watching the first episode of Behind the Build. I'm gonna go ahead and finish editing this one. And don't forget to join me for episode two, where we're gonna go ahead and break down those two GNGs I mentioned before. And also we're gonna tear down my R15. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support contributes greatly to channel growth and I really do appreciate it. Always remember to aim down sight and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Behind the Build. That's what Isaiah's blurb shit. So <laughs> we've been watching all that shit. <laughs> <laughs>